Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here in a sort of funny looking day in Suffolk. Uh, our hot weather finished up in a mass of thunderstorms and uh, lots of rain. And even this morning at seven o'clock, we had a massive thunderstorm here and a downpour. It ain't too bad now. And I thought, well, might as well get out on the bike and beat the rain. Keep looking at it. <laughs> anyway, today I think I'm going to do a vlog on a thing that I was thinking about myself the other day, and that was uh, the game of life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking hell. What a fucking knob! To put a bloody... We've just had all this rain and they're watering the bloody fields and putting it over the roads! Fuck's sake! I'll stop round here and see if I can sort my camera out and everything else. That's ridiculous. We've had tons and tons of friggin' rain. And they're still watering the fields. But they do it over a road. Right, let's hope I sorted that out. Bloody, I can't believe that. But anyway, where was I? Always getting distracted. I don't distract myself for something else. So there you go. Um, yeah, the game of life. I was sitting there the other day and I thought, you know, um, looking over things that had happened to me and, and different things. And I thought about things that had happened many, many years ago when I was younger, when I was in my 20s. And I'll give you a couple of instances or a couple of explanations and you can see where I'm going with this. And uh, when I was first married, when I was about 21, my wife at the time, her uncle, used to cut down trees in Australia. And he moved from Australia to Canada, to Vancouver Island. Uh, and she was always in touch with him. And he asked us to go over to... Uh, see him and whatever and maybe start a new life and um, at the time we were up for it we were only young and we thought you know we'd let's go let's go and uh, I can uh, get a job over there he said he'd get me a job on the lumber jacking side or the hauling of logs and stuff like that and uh, we were up for it but unfortunately it didn't work out uh, circumstances turned up that we just didn't get on that well <laughs> so I never went uh, another thing was when I was younger and when I was about 26 I spent a long time touring the continent on motorbikes and I spent about three months in uh, in Greece and I met up with a very nice young woman who was Jewish and uh, we got on very well she had a boyfriend at the time over in Greece and I had a girlfriend over in Greece Anyway, cut a long story short, when we came back, she sent me a letter saying that she'd split up with her boyfriend and she'd moved from the UK, she lived in Liverpool, and she'd moved back to Israel. Would I like to go over? And I thought, you know, I think I will. You know, single bloke, let's go and have a look, see what that's all about, see what that's like on one of these kibbutz and stuff like that, you know? So anyway, the only trouble was that writing was so atrocious, so atrocious, that I couldn't make out the address. And we armed and armed about it and whatever. Anyway, I sent a letter back and I never had a reply. So, so in two instances there, if life would have taken me or life's changes would have took me, I could have landed up as a lumberjack in Vancouver Island, or living in Israel on a kibbutz. That didn't happen. Other things happen. Do you think that these things that come our way and we plan out and we think we're going to do and it all goes wrong, do you just think it's life's highway? Do you think it's just a thing that happens or do you think it's all planned for us? Now I'm getting very deep now and when I talk about this I'm going to talk about the spiritual side of how I look at life at the moment and I'll give you an instance on that and that is you're only on this earth to learn lessons 
Once all your lessons are learned, you then leave this earth and go on to the next realm or next world or whatever. Now that's only my, my belief and if anybody thinks that's a load of shit, I don't care. Because, you know, it's just my belief and what your belief is will do me fine. What your religion is will do me fine. What mine is will do me fine. So do you think though, in these sort of instances where you think you've got something worked out, planned out, and it doesn't go, do you think there's some sort of reason for that? Some sort of lesson that you learn out of that? Do you think it's a thing that is just life? The pathway of life? The, uh, the map of life? Because as you know, on all maps there's different directions and different paths and different roads and different places to go. Life is a little bit like that, if you think about it. Could have landed up in Vancouver, could have landed up in Israel, but I didn't. I landed up marrying again and having three children by another woman. So has there been an instance where, in your life, where you thought that you were going to do something that would be game-changing, life-changing, and it never happened, and you went into a different direction? You don't know why, but it just happened. Things evolved and took you off that course, you know? It's strange. I find it very strange. And I know it's very deep and uh, a tough one to actually sort out, really, but uh, I was just sitting there by the river thinking about things and thinking, you know, this could have happened and that could have happened. And uh, what's the reason why they don't? Because we make plans for all sorts of things, you know? <coughs> plans for all sorts of things. And they all go to plan. Yeah, a plan for this, a plan for that. But there's some really big life-changing plans that don't. And uh, I wonder why. So, so, let me know if anything like that had happened to you, where you'd made big plans and they never happened and your life completely changed and went into a different direction. Maybe that went in a direction that was better for me, maybe, or for you. Maybe that uh, direction that I went in, marrying somebody else and having three children was my direction I should have been in the first place. And these other directions that I was trying were not for me. But let me know. Bit deep, I know. <laughs> So I hope, in a way, that uh, I've got this tag, this subject. It's a big subject. It's a complicated subject. And uh, sometimes I wish I could explain things better than I do. So yes. If anything like this has happened to you in the past, where you've, like I said earlier, made these plans, and they changed, didn't come to fruition, so I think fruition is the uh, word for it. And you're like went into a completely different direction, uh, hopefully for the best. Because I really, you know, feel blessed that uh, my life didn't go that way. But there again, what can I say? I might have been a different man in a different country with a different wife, with different children. I think it's all a plan. I think this is all planned out before you even come here. Your life is planned out. And I think you plan it yourself before you get here. Now you might think I'm going nuts now, but I'm not. It's a spiritual side of life. It's a, a way of looking at life. And people ask me, you know, when I do demonstrations of uh, spiritualism or, uh, you know, I've got a hall full of people, which I've been doing just lately, uh, doing clairvoyance, people ask me as a medium the meaning of life or the meaning of death and tell you the truth I can't tell them because I don't even know 
I really don't. But the only thing I will say, and I say this a lot, is it not better to believe in an afterlife or a God or something to look forward to? A way of treating people in the right way. Is it not better to live that life than to believe there's nothing at the end of it, nothing at all, just a grave. And if you think about it also, if you die, or when you die, there's no afterlife or anything else, you're not going to know anyway. But if there is, then they're going to be so good. That's all I'm going to say on that one. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Bloody stuff I come out with sometimes. I just felt a little bit today, a little bit more... I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Sometimes you can't find the words, but I just felt today maybe I'm being a little melancholy about life or whatever at the moment. I don't know. I have been thinking about a lot of things just lately. Maybe it's because I'm back into spiritualism and it's making me think again. I don't know. But anyway... I'm going to dump some cars in a minute if I get the chance. <laughs> oh, I don't think I am. <laughs> God. Suffolk Roads, eh? Oh, they're just non non stop. Let's dump this one. Mm, no, I don't think I will. Bit of a bend there. <laughs> I bet I could have done. <laughs> Always say when you ride a bike, ride within your limits, because there's always somebody to go home to. That's the main thing. Don't try and, try and test my theory about the afterlife. I don't recommend that to anybody. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This bloke's going to let me go, I think. Oh, it's not fucking stop. Look at this. Anyway, I've got one more to do. <laughs> anyway, all right, safe. Love each other. Something handy.